AI is going to affect almost every industry and prompt engineering is going to become more and more a part of our daily lives. So with this in mind, I thought it would be really good to do a prompt engineering course, really, really cover the basics to the expert prompting. And I'll be showing you how to prompt any writing assistant. This could be ChatGPT, Bard, Text Cortex, and so many more. They all follow the exact same principles. So once you've mastered this, you'll be able to prompt any AI with ease. So the first part of this, I'm gonna go over a really basic prompt structure. And with this structure, you can use it for tons of different use cases. I'll probably say 90% of the prompts I do are in this format. I think even though these AIs are really, really smart, I think you kind of got to think of them as an alien that's going to take everything you say really literally. So I think the most important thing for doing AI prompting is just make your prompt really clear. Make sure one prompt fits one goal and you know what you want. What I'm going to go over now is this really simple format. I just call it role, goal, format. So the first part of this is we're going to give the AI a role. So if I want it to be an AI researcher, I'm going to say you are a researcher. And for example, it doesn't have to be as broad as this. If, for example, you want someone to be a tech expert, but you really like uh, Steve Jobs, for, for example, you really like Bill Gates, say you are Bill Gates, or you are some other expert in the field. This can be anything you want, but I keep it kind of broad for stuff like this. Um, and then with the second stage, it's the goal. So your goal is to find out more about the impact of AI on jobs. So there's the goal. And the last thing is the format. So the last thing as well, and I think this one's kind of overlooked, is the format. So for example, if I'm doing it for research, and I'm going to expand upon this research, I might want it in bullet points. But let's say I'm doing it for exam, I might want it formatted in a different way. Let's say I'm doing it for a blog post, a social media script, or let's say I even want it to be a certain amount of characters, or use certain words, or terminology. I mean, this is the part where you can do that. So I'm, I'm actually going to say, put your findings as a list of bullet points. So this is pretty much the basics of it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to text core text. And again, you can use this on any AI assistant. And the good thing about using text cortex, let's say over chat GPT, is it's got access to the internet. And for a researcher, I think that's quite important. So I'm actually gonna, so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna enable search, internet, um, enable search. Yeah, and then I'm just gonna paste that in. So yeah. As you can see here, it's done exactly what I've said. I was very clear and it's output and it outputted it perfectly. And following the same format, we can do anything. Yeah, so I'm gonna try this format, the role goal format on something else. I'm gonna say you are an expert on tech. The same mindset of the jobs. I'm gonna customize it a little bit more, sort of tell it how I want its, ide its ideology to be. Um, its goal is to write a blog post about uh, laptops and good design. And what I'm going to say for the format, now we've got the goal, I want it to be in really simple la language. So I want this to be for kids. So write this like you are speaking to 10 year olds and keep the word count under 200 words okay what I do copy and paste it and 
And as you can see, it understands it's writing for kids. I'm not going to read through the whole thing. I can put this in the comments below. But as you can see, so next time you're looking for a laptop, don't just settle for any old boring box. Look for one with good design and make it a pleasure, not a chore. And who knows, maybe someday you'll design a laptop of your own that will change the world, just like Steve Jobs did. And feel free to customize it all you want. But if you want to get started with some pre-built prompts, I've got a guide for you completely free of charge with over 260 if you sign up to our newsletter. Link will be in the description. Next time we're going to try some more advanced stuff. I've been running from Text Cortex, but 